Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. The very first day you start to feel a little bit of crispness in the air, your whole mind just completely switches to a whole new thing. I had all these sewing plans picked out because it's still been so hot. And I was like, if it's 96, 98 degrees today, next week, two weeks later, three weeks later, I mean, how much colder can it possibly be in the 80s? in the 70s okay fine i can still wear like cute little dresses and stuff like that but now that it's like a high of 70 all of a sudden i'm like i need a coat <laughs> i need pants um so i'm trying to rein all of that in and not let the weather too much dictate what my sewing plans are going to be for october so i put together three things um that i will sew this month and let's get into it so I had a little bit of the emerald green stretch suede from the Style Maker Fabrics Fall Style Tour where I made the moto jacket. I have like maybe a yard. And so I thought it would be really fun to try and make a skirt. So I picked out McCall's 7438. And this version here takes seven eighths of a yard. And I think I can also probably eke out like remove a little bit more of that yardage if I do the facing of the waist facing of the waistband in a contrasting fabric. So really the only emerald green stretch suede will be exactly what you see shown here, the front of the waistband and the actual body of the skirt. I am a little reluctant because skirts are not typically they don't look that great on me but I will be doing a slight full seat adjustment. So hopefully that will help. And if it ends up not being super flattering, the fabric is basically a scrap that I cannot think of anything else to sew. I have so much of it. It's like, what am I trying to say? It's like a really big scrap. So I wanna try and make a garment if I can, but if it doesn't work out, then it's like, oh, well, it was just scrap fabric anyways. So it's kind of like a wearable muslin for this guy. Um, so yeah, I really hope it works because I think it could be super cute. And I kind of love that version with the buttons and all of that. Uh, so wish me luck on this guy. I will let you know how it goes but super cute for fall, right? Even how she's wearing it with a little turtleneck and some booties, super cute, super easy, super me. So I really wanna try and get this to work. Um, okay, so that's the first one. So next up is for Halloween. And I teased this a little bit in my, like how to sew with Halloween fabrics video that I did, where I said I would be, would be picking one of those fabrics to make a costume that could work as a costume one day, but then the very next day you could wear it and do something totally normal, ready to wear. Maybe not that you would wear to Target, but that you could wear to a date night, to a girls night, to a concert, New Year's, something like that. And so I will be showing you and revealing that costume to you very shortly. So in case you wanna do it for yourself, you have some time to run out and get everything. But I just need to show you the piece de resistance of my Halloween costume and what's taking it from like every day ready to wear to a costume. And that is this super cute headband. Isn't she adorable? She's got like a little skull and these really cute like red flowers. And I just absolutely cannot wait to wear this. Um, so I'm going to wear this headband now while I talk to you about the garment I'm going to make for my Halloween costume. So I pulled Simplicity 8950. This is one of their new patterns. I got it because I loved this version, but I also love, love, love this version too. Um, but this one is going to be this version because the fabric is... One of those specialty fabrics, it's a little bit difficult to sew with, so I wanted it to have as few seams as possible. So here is the fabric. Shimmer, shimmy, shaky, shake. It's got like tons of little like sequins all over it, and it's like a mesh. So it's kind of like gun metal or like um, arm chain link, chain mail, chain mail armor. 
And I just think it's gonna be so cute as a little like V-neck top. Gosh, even a top like this with a cowl neck and a little droopy sleeve would be cute. But I also wanted to point out how pretty the backside is. So the backside does not have the sequins. It's a little bit more on the subtle side and equally as pretty. So if you're not into like all the sequins and stuff, you could definitely use the wrong side of this fabric and make an equally beautiful top. Isn't that pretty? Very inspiring, especially look how well it matches my little skull. <laughs> so I don't normally get into Halloween. It's not normally something that I'm just like super into, but I figure what the hey, I can make a fun top. I've been going to a lot of concerts lately because you know, moving to Charlotte, there are a ton more artists that come here than ever even dreamed of coming to Charleston. Charleston is just too small. Um, but a lot of great artists come through here and a lot more are coming. So I thought I could have a fun concert tea, something for New Year's, something for date night. And since this has so few seams on it, uh, I thought that it would be just kind of the perfect little basic basic pattern, but with a really fancy fabric. And I think the juxtaposition of that is really, really cool. And it'll all depend on obviously how you style it, you know, and all of that. So I'll make sure to do it up real cute, <laughs> show you guys um, how cute this fabric can really be even in a basic pattern. So there's that one. And then speaking of sparkle and shine, I got this boucle fabric from Joanne, remember this? I think I feel like everybody got this when it went on sale for 60% off. Uh, maybe I was still in Charleston, so maybe two years ago. I have a ton of this and I do really, really love it. I think it would look so cute with jeans. I actually have jeans on today. Um, oh, you still can't see, sorry. Okay, I was gonna show you what it looks like with jeans, but black jeans, blue jeans, super, super cute. So I wanted to make one of my favorite things to make, which is a little cropped jacket. And so I got Simplicity 8604. How stinking cute. I am gonna be making the version that the model is wearing. I love the little peplum. I love the flared sleeve. I love the no collar. I just love everything about this. So yeah, that out of this, I think it's gonna be really, really great. I have enough of this fabric to also make like a matching fit and flare, super simple, like skater style dress, you know, with just like your basic bust starts, your basic waist starts, a simple flared A-line skirt, nothing fancy. And so I thought that would also be cool to wear the jacket over the dress for like a full, like one piece mono look. Um, I've seen that done before. Obviously it's very Chanel, very chic, very high fashion. And so I thought that I could do my take on it by making the jacket just a little, like a teensy bit cute, you know, and not so, well, it is tailored, but not so straightforward. You know what I mean? Like with the flared sleeve, with the um, peplum, just, oh, I left the headband on. <laughs> I forgot that I had this on. Um, you know what I mean? Just take, it, it, would, it would take like that classic Chanel look and just modernize it just a little bit. That's my plan. So I have a lot of this. It's actually really soft, which I'm excited about wearing just because it feels so good, even with the sparklies going through it. So you can tell that my mind is kind of already going to holiday. It's already going to just this time of year where you're socializing a lot and you're out, you're doing things you don't normally do, special events and all of that kind of stuff. So I am really excited about my makes for this month. I still have several things that I said I was gonna make in previous months. One of them I did cut out and it is oof, this top. Oh, which version? I think it was this version here, the white one, out of this little fabric here. So I did get it all cut out. I just have to sew it up. So I am making progress on those. I also still have my refashion that I desperately want to do. Um, even though this coral color is kind of 
a little bit out of season now. I still really, really want to make this refashion that I've been talking about for like three months now. So we'll see if I get through all of this stuff and, you know, have extra time or just am really motivated to tackle one of those other projects. I do have other things. So we will see what happens um, at the end of October or beginning of November, whenever I post my makes video. Um, but in the meantime, that is going to do it for me today. I have a ton of information as always in the description box. So be sure to check that out. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye. <laughs>